Okay, we're gonna make a wheel hub. Sorry if there's a uh, bit of noise. I got a fan going. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do this. Um. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got eight holes, and they're spread evenly over a 360 degree circle. So that means each hole is 45 degrees apart. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a three-quarter inch hole. So the radius of that is three-eighths. And then I'll move 6.5 inches with my tape measure and draw another three-quarter diameter hole. And then I'm going to just the way I'm going to make all the holes 45 degrees apart is just by selecting these two and rotating them. Um, so I need a point about which to rotate them. So I'm going to draw a little point three and a quarter inches from my origin. And that's the midpoint between these two circles. So now I'll select those, click rotate, and I'll press control once. And you'll see a little plus appears next to the rotate icon. I'm going to rotate about this point. It doesn't matter where I click this. I'll just click it here. And I'm going to go 45. And then I'm just going to do that again. I'll press control again. Click here. Click that. And this time I'll go 90. And I'm going to do that one more time. Oh, I forgot to press shift. Rotate about the guide point 45 degrees. Okay, so that gives me the bolt holes for the hubs. I'm going to delete these guide points. This wasn't actually the cleanest way to do this. It requires deleting guide points in the end, but Okay, um, whoops, I accidentally deleted my center point. I need that to draw the 8 inch outer diameter of the hub. And now if I check any one of these circles, should be about 6.5 inches. Yep, there it is. Okay, uh, wait a second. I think this is actually supposed to be a 9 inch diameter. I think I've made that mistake before actually. I'll make that 4.5. Okay, that looks better. Um, and now this particular document requires a 3 and a quarter diameter. So the center, the center bore of this is kind of funny. It's got two half circles that meet, not quite in the center of the half circle. So um, the the smaller half circle is three and a quarter inches, which is basically three inches plus an eighth on either side for an eighth all around for clearance. So we'll make um our radius uh one and five eighths. Something just popped up and I pressed spacebar right when it popped up. I don't know what that did. I think it changed my color scheme. Okay, one and five eighths. And the next one will be let's see, one and five eighths that I want. Yeah, that's what I want. And then the next one will be four and a quarter, so that's two and an eighth. Okay. So now uh, these two meet not right at the um, intersecting line, but 
an eighth of an inch above it. So I'll draw a line. Basically, the larger half circle extends beyond. So that should. That was kind of messy, but that should do the job. Um, giving us what we need here. So I'll get rid of this area and that area. And that should be our part. Um, so yeah, I might have done some things here that weren't obvious. But I think most of what I did was obvious. So if we can take the tape measure out and check it, it should be about four and a quarter and three and well it's gonna be three and seven thirty seconds because we cut into this before it reached its full diameter. So that should um that should be good. Now the way I'll export this as a, as a DXF um, is by clicking on it. I made it a component. You don't really have to, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to go to Camera, Standard Views Top. So I'm looking straight down on it. And it's pretty, pretty simple. You just go to Export 2D Graphic. And let me just find the folder. Um, I'm just gonna name it something random. And export. Make sure you export it as an AutoCAD DXF file that was already selected in my export dialog window. And that's about it. So. There you go, world.